So I shoot a lot of mountain biking videos. I use the GoPro Hero 5 Black. It has built-in image stabilization, electronic image stabilization, and it's not the best when I use it on a GoPro um, chest mount. Also the case that goes around this leads to a lot of creaking and clicking noises that come through the video. And these two things have caused me to change my perspective and decide to invest in a gimbal. In fact, I bought the Feiyu Tech WG2 wearable gimbal. And one of the reasons why I bought this was that it comes with a tripod mount. Also, the uh, ability to control it via an app means I can use it away from mountain biking, but the tripod mount specifically is um, one of the things that, that drew me to this. But the problem is, the mount that they give you in the case, whilst it does have a steel thread, is still GoPro plastic. And I don't fully trust my investment to plastic. Certainly not a weak point like this. So I've decided to modify an existing chest plate to actually provide a direct screw mount onto a chest plate through without requiring a GoPro mount. So I've invested in a new chest plate. twin pack of tripod screws. I actually only need one of these. A Dremel-like tool. can not call it a Dremel because it's copyrighted. But I've invested in a Dremel-like tool. And in some neoprene foam, about two millimeters thick. My idea is on these very cheap chest mounts, these lugs for the GoPro mount can be chopped off. Potentially, I'm also looking at the center ridge to completely drill that away and then from behind somewhere perhaps near the top add a drill hole pass this tripod screw through and it will then be permanently attached through here and I can adjust it screw in to the gimbal the neoprene foam is going to be used just merely as a uh, a dampening, vibration dampening uh, device because I won't quite make this cut as neat as I would like to. I'll try my best, but this is the first time I've been using a multi-tool like this and yeah, it won't be uh, as clean as it could be. But that's my, my uh, plan. And all of this, I believe, cost me something in the order of 26, 27 pounds, including the Dremel-like tool. So I think the, the multi-tool was 13 pounds, so this could be made significantly cheaper. The reason why I've gone for something like this, I am aware that in the States you can buy something called a, a stuntman um, chest mount, which has mounting holes for a tripod mount but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be uh, available for sale in the UK so I have to hack my own so let's see what we can do first thing I'm going to try and remove this middle piece of 
elastic. Also, shout out to Maplin. It's a sad day that Maplin is going into receivership, into administration. On the plus side, while you still can, get down to Maplin and get your bargains. Because it ain't going to be there much longer. I got this multi tool set earlier on. I paid £8. For this multi tool set. Now I'm quite impressed with paying £8 for something that's got 30 odd bits, 31 pieces to this. That's not good. I've not tightened that down enough. make these uh, sturdy. Now, hopefully my point is even though I'm not the best at this nobody really is going to be that good and hopefully the average person can see how they can do this for themselves freaked out if I'm working on a tool 
when my hand's near the on-off switch. Well, that side was certainly cleaner than the other side. this to try and tidy up some of these edges. Where we're at. So I've lugged, cut off the lugs from this side, cut off the centre lug. I'm actually pleasantly surprised I thought that groove was going to run the entire way through but I'm pleased that that does actually have a flat surface the gimbal not sure which way around the gimbal is meant to go if it's meant to go that way or that's the top that you're looking at here or if it's meant to go upside down the way but that is quite flat I'm quite happy with that So, given that this is mounted in the centre, we don't want to place this. I'd like to get support on this bit and this bit either side. truth I'm probably better just going straight for the centre. So let's put the other drill bit on. Yes. I'd rather it didn't have quite so much wobble, but actually wobble isn't too bad. cut out how big this is just using anything really to give me guidance as to where I need to cut along
Cross if cuts just to allow it to poke through. Right, let's try and get this back in the right way around. So I know that this has to go across that way, so I'm going to insert it through. That bit is surprisingly not the hardest thing to do. This bit, however, is. We've got this split section here, and what you need to try to do is to feed this elastic through under that gap, but only half of this, the lower half, or well, the front half, I guess. Once you get enough of it under, you can pinch it along, so one half is connected, the other half is not. So from this side you can see how it's not fully across on that side, so I'm going to pinch this across. now a tripod screw mounted chest mount. You can see there's a slight, a slight um, it sticks out ever so slightly, that tripod screw, but that isn't too much protruding from the line of this. It may well be slightly uncomfortable, but I'll take being slightly uncomfortable over hopefully better quality footage. And in order to fit this, obviously you can peel back the elastic, gain access to the tripod screw mount. And here, This is the chest mount. I believe this is going to be still somewhat more stable than if I'd used the GoPro mount. Now I do actually have another chest mount um, I bought before I bought this, which is why I know that it's quite bad. Um, so I shall try and do a comparison shot, one with using the standard GoPro mount that comes with the Tech, and one that uses this direct attachment, and hopefully the results will be somewhat rewarding. I'm certainly, so far, very excited. That's taken just about an hour's worth of work to achieve that. So yeah. Onto the trails. <laughs> 